I chose to read um, Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger, and a lot of these stories have to deal with younger people and often very innocent people, and a lot of them have people inquiring um, problems, and a lot of them deal with death, war, flaws in hum human relationships, um, and how there's a lot of human vulnerability, and that's the, the basic theme of all these short stories. So, I wrote one that was, it's similar, I mean it has a similar theme, and that there's heartbreak, and it's heart-wrenching, the story. So I wrote a short story, and then I'll read it. <laughs> Angela was just starting her morning. She took a warm bath with rose petals and bubbles. She had an ashtray sitting next to her, the window open, and a cigarette in her hand. She was busy smoking when the phone rang, but after about six rings, she decided to walk over the phone and answer. Hello, Mother. How are you? Angela, I've been scared. You haven't answered my calls. Did something happen to Samuel? No, Mother. I haven't gotten a call until now. The operator told me that the phone lines have been very busy. Dear, I've been waiting hours for you to answer. Did something happen to your Samuel? Angela exhaled smoke and then said, Mother, I'm fine. I haven't seen Samuel in a few days. Why? Is something wrong? Darling, someone came to me at church yesterday. Yes, Mother. There are a lot of very n nice people at church. Did you make a new friend? What are you doing? You might want to sit down so you don't hurt yourself. I won't hurt myself, Mother. I'm barely pregnant. The baby is doing fine. Angela, dear, are you doing okay? I think you should hear this. Angela continues smoking and sits by the window, waiting for her mother's response. She thinks her mother is going to talk about a new friend she met at church, or maybe something that her father has been doing. She has no clue that what she is, that she is about she has no clue that she is about to find something out about her soon to be husband, Samuel. Angela, are you there? Are you hurt? Can you answer? Angela. Samuel's cousin, who says he has never met you, told me that Samuel doesn't want to have the baby. He wants to marry someone else. He doesn't want to marry someone while they are pregnant, or when they have already had the child. Angela never responds. All the mother hears after this is the clank of the ashtray falling on the cold, hard, tile ground. And then she hears a noise that signifies the end of the call. She calls back, but she has to wait for at least two to three hours before the phone operator answers once again. So, that's my story. I J.D. Sanders' stories are pretty straightforward, they're really easy to read, and they typically give a lot of detail, and a lot of these short stories are conversations between two people, like the first one is between a daughter and her mother, and she asks about her husband, and talks about the dad, and stuff, so that's where that inspiration came from. So, thank you for watching.